it's Mrs. Star, and today we're going to show you how you can use a power link to stay cool on these hot summer days. So quickly, just a reminder, you want to make sure you, you plug your power link in. Then you're going to plug your fan into the side either for seconds or minutes. We're going to do seconds. So you're going to take the fan plug it into the power link side you want. Then you're gonna take your switch, plug that into the same side. And then last, you're gonna do your settings. We're gonna be doing time seconds and Sedona picked 12 seconds. All right, Sedona, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's get cool. We added the scarves for a little more sensory fun and a little more visual stimulation. After the 12 seconds, if Sedona wants more fan, what do you have to do? You can sign more and you can another fun way to use a hair dryer and a power link to play some games. Here's a game called basketball. We have our hair dryer, we have our power link that's all set up. It's going to run for six seconds every time the switch is hit. And the game is to try to get your ball in the basket. Donut, are you ready? All right, she's going to be using a gumball switch attached to a modular hose, and she's going to be using her head as an access point. Ready, set, go! Oh, almost! Let's try it again. Ready? Ready, set, go! Today we are going to show you how you can use a power link and a blender to do some science or of course to make a lovely smoothie or to blend whatever you want. So we're going to start with this demonstration of adding some food coloring because why not? Food coloring is fun. And Dona made the selection of adding some pink food coloring and some purple food coloring. There we go. And that's just water in our blender. <clears throat> All right, the next thing we're gonna do is make sure that we have our settings on our power link. This time, we're gonna be using the direct setting. What that means is that the person has to be holding the switch in order for your blender or whatever you have attached to it to work. Okay, so the direct setting. I've plugged in my blender and I've plugged in my switch. All right, Dona, are you ready? Okay, go for it. Whoa, look at that beautiful purple. And as you can see, her hand has to be pushing the switch for the blender to start, I mean to go. And when she lets go of the switch, it stops. Show us one more time, Dona. Good job. So that is how you can use a blender using a power link and having some fun. See you later.